everyone welcome back to another swift tutorial in today's video we're going to be looking at how we can reorder our cells in the table view so if we have a table view like this that we want to drag the cells from let's say up here to down here and basically just reorder them using these uh, icons that are a little tough to grab it seems at the moment like that and once we're done, we can hit this button again and things stay where we move them to. So we're going to be learning how to do this. It's fairly simple. So get Xcode ready, drop a like down below, subscribe if you're new and let's get into it. So as per usual, we're going to start by creating a new Xcode project. We're going to stick with a single view application and we'll call this project move cells. Let's stick it on our desktop and get into it. So first things first, let's select our simulator of choice, hit command R, and we'll see our empty app here, like so. So let's go to our view controller. And again, if you're wondering how I got this menu to search the project, command shift O, super nifty tip to search large projects. So we need to start by creating a basic table view, and we're gonna do that by using an outlet. If you're unfamiliar with how to do this, take a look at my several prior videos on how to do it, or feel free to just follow along. So we're going to set the table's delegate as well as its data source. And up here, we are going to conform to the delegate and the data source, like so. Now we also need an array of strings, which we'll use to actually so show text in our cell. So we'll just call it models and let's add some strings in here. Let's do like three or four. Four sounds good. And we need to implement a couple functions before we go to our storyboard and actually bring in this table. The first function that we need to implement for the table view is number of rows. And we want to return the number of models which is the count of our array. It'll be four in this case. We also want to create a cell for each row. So cell for row add index path. We want to DQ a cell with an identifier and we're going to set this in our storyboard in just a second. And we're going to return it for an index path. At the bottom of this function, let's not forget to return the cell. And let's also set the text of the cell as the current position element in models. And let's spell that correctly. This should be indexpath.row. Let's set the text labels font to be a little larger. We're going to stick with Arial and we'll give it a size of 22. So let's see, what else do we need? So we need a couple more things in here, but before we do that, let's go to our storyboard and just bring on in a table and connect the outlet, build and run and make sure our table is working as expected. So let's bring a table view in, drop it in like so. Let's connect our table to our UI table view. And let's also add some constraints by coming down here and pinning this table to zero on each side of the screen. We also want to come up here and increment this prototype cell number to get one cell. Let's expand this table, select the cell and give it an identifier of cell, which is what we used in our code. Let's say command R to build and run and hopefully we get our table here nothing crashes cool so we got the table working we can see there are cells with the respective text now let's actually figure out how we can move each cell so let's go back to our view controller and we want to implement two more table functions and we're going to create one ib action so we're going to essentially have a navigation bar at the top of this screen on this view controller with a button called sort and when you hit it the little icons to actually drag the cells will appear 
and when you hit the button again it'll basically finish the uh, sorting operation so those icons will disappear so let's create that IB action first did tap sort we'll call it and in here what we want to do is we simply want to say if table is editing we want to stop the editing otherwise we want to start editing and editing essentially means that uh, there is some operation that is changing something about the table view so you just need to let the, let the table know that something is changing. So let's go to our storyboard and embed this view controller in a navigation controller. That'll give us our bar. So select it, come up to your toolbar, hit editor, embed in, navigation controller. You'll get this controller with this navigation bar up here. Let's come on up here and find a bar button item, drag it in, right click on this to get the newly created IV action, and we can connect it like so. And let's zoom in and change the actual name of this button to be sort, hit command R to build and run, and let's see what happens when we hit that button. So let's get rid of this notification, hit this again. So if we hit this, you'll see we get these icons, but there's no icon here to actually drag a cell and we're not able to drag a cell. So how the heck do we get that? So to get that, we need to implement two more table view functions, which is the meat of actually how to move a cell. And the first one is table can move row at index path. Essentially, we need to tell the table that we are allowing this row to be moved and we're going to return true and we want table did move row from index path. Let's see. That's not what we want. We want table. Let's find the right one. We want table move row. That's what it's called. We want table move row at index path and there's actually two parameters to this function a source and a destination. In other words, where the person, aka the user, started to move this cell from and where they dropped it, so the target destination. And what we need to do in here is basically move the objects in the array that are being moved uh, visually on screen. So once you end editing on the table, the actual visual elements should align with the backing models. So this is actually super important and an area where people get a little tricked up. So right now these models are first, second, third, and fourth. But if we want to drag the last cell one position up, this will end up being first, second, fourth, and third. So we need to basically just move around things as a person is dragging between different positions. And to do that, it's fairly simple. All we need to do is say models, we want to swap the elements from the source index path dot row to the destination dot row. And now we should be able to reorder our cells. So let's hit command R to build and run and see what we get. So we don't have any icons to reorder yet, but let's hit sort. And we see we have these things here now. We can pick up a cell and like so, we can move it around, and once we drop it, nothing crashes. We can hit this, and it'll end editing, and we have our cells. So let's try that a couple more times. Uh, it really doesn't matter how you order them, because things are being moved around as you're uh, moving them visually, moved around in the actual array that's powering this table view. So yeah, it should work exactly like that, and that's it. So thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to drop a like down below, subscribe if you're new, leave a comment if you have a question, have an issue, error, I love hearing from you guys and uh, I'll try to help you as best as I can. I'll catch you in the next video.